Hey guys, I'm Rob Shukraft with Three Storm Fitness, and today I'm gonna I'm gonna take you through a series of, of four iterations of how you can recreate a lot of the the movement patterns and the functionality of machines in a commercial gym using really a combination of landmines, landmine attachments, and hammock straps. Which, uh, if you've stuck around with this channel for a while, you're probably sick of me talking about hammock straps, but they really are the most uh, unsung piece of versatile equipment uh, that, that, you, that you could have in a home gym. There's so much you could do with them. And, and you know, I got this inspiration from hammock straps. I wish I could give somebody credit. I don't remember where I first saw it. But it was somebody was basically trying to do like a DIY Henny system, which uh, I know like a lot of places sell them, Rogue sells them, for instance. And uh, it's like a uh, somewhere around $200. Essentially, I mean, there's more to it, but it's basically hammock straps. The hammock straps have the same kind of functionality for the poor man, right? So some dude on a Facebook page one time with some garage gym uh, page, my buddy Mark's group, was, um, was showing this. I'm like, that is absolutely genius. I'm ripping that off right now. So that's what we're going to do. That's sort of what inspired this. I'm going to start from the most simple version that just about anybody with, uh, with a half rack, uh, this isn't a half rack, but anybody with with a with a pull-up bar essentially, even if it was mounted to concrete, you know, just literally the bar and a landmine attachment. This right here is a Black Widow landmine. Uh, they call it like a grappler, right? It moves in every way you want. Uh, could 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 do this hammock straps, a, a bar with some counterweight and a landmine and a barbell. That'll be kind of the, uh, that'll be version one or version 0.1, however you want to, whatever you want to do. So let's start. We're going to, first we're going to take this hammock strap. Uh, this is bare butt. This is a brand I've been using for a while. I don't really know my hammock strap. This is the first one I bought. Maybe it's the only one that exists. I don't know. But the beautiful thing about these hammock straps is that there's a, uh, they're exactly two inches in diameter, which is perfect for a barbell sleeve, right? And you have all the... It's basically, just think about uh, like two inch spacings in your, in your rack. The only downside, well, yeah, there's probably many downsides, but one of the downsides is that they're not numbered, these, this version here. So, um, you know, I got a little 12 on here. Just took some duct tape and numbered that. I'll eventually put it all the way out. This dude named Jay Rufus, 11, I believe. I was just talking to him uh, the other day on, uh, he was commenting on my YouTube channel. And he said he's been doing this for years. It's like changed his game. And he said he's, he, he just numbers everything with his configurations. Uh, so, you know, so if he wants to do, we'll build up to like some, you know, crazy pressing type deal. Uh, if, he, if he wants to, you know, not have to go through the rigmarole of spacing everything and seeing if it works and then going back and adjusting, you just check your, what your numbers are, put it in like a spreadsheet, and then just revisit that and set it up every time. So you got to make yourself, once you do it once, note it, and then you have a cheat sheet for future configurations. So take this thing, we're going to loop it through, bring it around, and all these hammock straps have a little kind of uh, anchor hole at the end, whatever you want to call that. We make an over under knot. Thank you, Rory. With your landmines, I got some 100 pound plates here. You don't have to use a 100 pound plate, but I like, you know, they're thick and they're heavy. All right, so you just put that sucker in there, give it a little extra wall, 25 pound plate. We're gonna center it right around where I want this. Now you don't want this to slide around too much, so you could take some bands and just kind of do a little over under knot right there. And that it usually provides enough friction head on to kind of give it a little bit of, a little bit of stop. You'll see what I mean in a minute. So let's say, let's say my stopping point the lowest I want to go in my range of motion is right here for a, for a shoulder press, right? So take this hammock strap, it's right here. So I think this one, this loop, right? I just kind of pull it taut, see where I am. This loop I think is going to be best. So you can mark it, whatever. I'm just going to loop it through the barbell sleeve here. And that'll just hang out there. It's ready for me to rock, right? But anyways, it moves around a little bit. That could be good depending on what you're after. It could be really frustrating if that's not what you want, right? One other thing about this configuration, this is not bolted down to the ground. This is a S2, I think a Rogue S2. Sorry about the spider webs and everything. Um, 
So once I slow, you know, I think I put, when I put like 100 pounds of this thing, it starts rocking back. See that? We don't want that, which is why we'll get to the other version in a second. So, you know, with the landmine, another great thing about landmines is that they're extremely versatile with attachments, right? So this is a Black Widow Viking Press attachment. Um, I think I spent like 180 bucks on this several years ago. I have no idea what they cost now. This is really well made. This sucker is, is bulletproof. The welds are, I don't know anything about welding, but they look pretty cool. Look at the big fat black caterpillars. Now this is where it really comes into play where you got to, you know, you got to know logging for like your configurations. So you don't have to like sit here and measure every time. It's really frustrating. Let's just have, let's just say that this is high enough. This is where I want it, right? Let's, let's just pretend it's right here. Okay. Put this sucker on it. Now you got yourself a wonderful attachment. You know, this is, I like to think of everything in terms of like, of terms of efficiency, right? So I got one exercise with just the straight press. If I want to do, if I got a Viking press, now all of a sudden I have one, two, three more exercises just pressing right just depending on what i'm after horizontal handles inside vertical outside vertical right so right there if you already have a a, 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 a landmine grappler or whatever you call these things and a barbell which most people do if they're if they had a garage gym and a place to put a hammock strap on now you have yourself you know six new exercises to program into your just your, your upper body pressing days, right? So just think of it in terms of that, you know, small investment can, can get you a lot of mileage out of what you're doing. Well, I kind of first ca came up with the idea of using the landmine with the hammock straps because I was trying to find a safe way, like the safest way to do uh, Turkish get-ups. You know, a traditional Turkish get-up, the one everybody knows is kettlebell, Come up, kind of do like a little like hip heist here, keeping an eye on the bell, rotate, lunge, come back up, back down, lower yourself down to your elbow, bring it down. Killer exercise, pretty much works everything. Great carry over to jujitsu, a lot of hip heist type, type movements. Downside, it's just kind of dangerous. I mean, honestly, like, no matter how good you are, you always have the risk of dropping it on your face. That, and also, that's something I like doing like partial get-ups, right? So if I'm just doing the movement, I just want to come up like this, kind of work the, it's like a nasty core exercise. I don't want to have to screw around with that bell every time. So landmine get-ups are kind of a safer way to do it, but without the strap, you still run the risk of dropping it on yourself. It's a little easier on the shoulders because the landmine has this kind of trajectory. Uh, that's why when I was training people for shoulder presses, we'd always do, I'd always use like landmines because it's just way easier on the shoulders and you can still get a pretty killer workout. And this is cool. See, we got this rotation. So, you know, I could get it out of the way, move it to the other side. All right, so if I, I'm gonna get kind of under it, punch it, Come up like this, and I, this is cool too. I got a little, it's like a zebra mat here. I can kind of scoot out, make it a little bit more uh, jujitsu specific perhaps, right? If I'm like doing like some sort of like side control escape, trying to get out, out from underneath somebody. Um, so I can kind of scoot back, shrimp back a little bit, get up to my hand here. You can't do all this. You don't have this kind of versatility with a kettlebell. And it's just way safer. If this thing falls, you know, no big deal, it's there. So this is kind of the inspiration for it. I'm like, what else can we do with this thing, you know? Good. Ready? Yep, you're ready to go. Okay. Okay, so I don't really want to spend too much time on this kind of second tier configuration, um, just because I want to move on to the stuff that I actually really use. But it doesn't take too much of an imagination to see where I'm going with this, right? I was using one before, and now I'm using two, right? These are, these are Titan, Landmines, I found there's really not a whole lot of different value difference in garage gym or landmine uh, pivots. So, you know, Titan's definitely good enough, especially for the project that I was working on, um, which we'll get to. But yeah, you just set up two of these guys, put your landmines in. I'm not even going to rig up the hammock straps, but, 
you know, obviously that's, that's kind of what this video is about. So feel free to, to do that yourself if this is what you got. But you know, with this, you could do like bent over row variations. You know, you got you, you, anything you could do with two, right? You do like a kind of like sort of like rack pulls. Pressing, of course. Of course, I imagine I have the hammock straps. I don't have to put it in position every time. I could put a bench in place and do the same thing. All right? Use your imagination. What is this? Version three, right? This is it, the iteration three. I mentioned that dude, uh, Jay Rufus, right? Uh, who gave me the tip. Uh, I mean, I already thought of it, <laughs> but uh, it was a good tip, right? On, on numbering your holes and, um, and recording the configurations, right? Because it just saves a ton of time. You don't, if you have to set up this and test it out every time, it's not, you're just not going to do it if you're like me. Um, so that being said, if, there, if you see an opportunity, like a practical opportunity to make what we're doing better, I kind of want to like, this is sort of like a crude open source project, right? So let me know in the comments. Or, I mean, if you got a video of something similar and maybe you think it's better or if it's just different with different equipment, send it to me and uh, an and old war dog here will find a way to, uh, to make that into the video. I have, I have faith in them, right? So we kind of work on this together, right? We get fit together. I got two hammock straps here. Now this is, you got to have something bolted down because we want to start putting some weight on this thing. I don't want that. I don't want this flipping up and being, being stupid. You could do the dual plate, you know, the classic setup with the landmines that we showed in, in the last version of this. All right. So I want to use these pivot, these pipe pivot, uh, safety bars. This is a, a rogue R4 with the, you know, the infinity holes, whatever. This is the West side spacing. So you got one inch. Anyways, I did a video on that a long time. We're going to move on link to it, but I like this because now these are Titan also. I have also have a black, one of these is a black widow one. Like some of this stuff, it just doesn't matter, right? You don't have to invest in the greatest for if it's just literally two pipes glued together essentially, right? So, but these are great because they're not coming out. Like they're, they're going to be, they're going to move with this. The only downside, and we'll get to this, the, my work around here. The only downside is that they don't turn this way. Okay. So, but right now that's, that's okay for what we're doing. You want to have this down low enough that, you know, it's easy to get a good range of motion, but high enough that the, the barbell, might as well put a barbell on here, right? High enough, <laughs> high enough that the barbell, you'll figure this out fast does, you know, can move all the way through. So right up here is where I put it. And I have all these marked on the inside here. All right. So I'm going to set this guy up. On this hole that I have marked, punch that sucker through. It'll hold there. I've had in the past, uh, well, just on Wednesday, I was doing presses with, had over a hundred pounds on each one of these. Uh, and it, this thing, you know, it's rock solid. It's drilled into the concrete. It's not going anywhere. Like I said, the hammock straps will hold over a thousand pounds each. So I'm not worried about it, but if you are, you know, uh, good for you. You'll probably live longer than me. <laughs> All right. So I put this one in too. Put that in the hole here. A lot of good euphemisms, but I'm way too mature to entertain those for much longer. All right, so I got a bench set up here and I got this little piece of tape there on the bench. It, um, just to kind of say, okay, I know for this particular exercise, which is gonna be kind of like an incline homemade hammer strength press. Thank you, Roy. Um, I got in my log book, this is a, uh, this is an iron master super bench, adjustable bench. It's, I've had this for a long time, by the way, it's held up really well. I love this thing. Um, I say I have that I have it marked on the fifth hole from the front. 
fifth, fifth notch. All right, so I got that in there and I have it marked that I have it on the lowest setting as well. Again, the more you could write down, this is a good tip for life, no matter what you're doing. If, you get it, if it takes you a long time to do something, write it down so you can just cheat it, right? So you can set up the bench here. I know it seems like it's a little funny, but I just want to show without this next attachment. You could do, if I move this bench a little bit closer, ah, screw it. You know, now I got a nice little kind of a neutral grip press here. Works quite well. Throw some weight on. What do you think, 50 pounds there, Roy? Yeah. Plus, you know, it's all dependent on how you log it, but these suckers, which we're going to put on these gnarly handles, Titan gnarly handles, which are based on the Black Widow Righteous handles, which again, I would love to buy from Black Widow. Hey, Gruber, cut it out. Yeah, dude. The Righteous handles are killer, and uh, but they're they're just they're so much more expensive. And I, yeah, I'm I'm a cheapskate man. I went with the cheap ones, right? Uh, they're still not that cheap, but they're fantastic. I, they're very very versatile. Put this on there, and we'll do like like I said, some sort of like hammer strength incline incline press sort of deal. I did these through, I was doing like kind of like a dog crap light uh, workout the other day, which is we're doing like uh, cluster sets, like triple uh, uh, fail, uh, rest pause kind of stuff. I call it, I, I'm calling it puppy farts. It's not quite dog crap. I was doing these and I'll tell you, I'm, I'm sore in my chest. I'm sore in my shoulders, triceps. These are great. Like they're, they're, they're wonderful. If, if, you know, being sore is your, is your thing. All right. So again, hammock straps allow me to set these at the lowest place where I want them. So I could just walk right into the bench set up here. I'm going to use like this angled bar here. If I put the bench back a little bit further, you know, I could use this grip high up this more horizontal grip, traditional barbell style, but I like this angle myself. Okay. Get into place, you know, rack the position, whatever. Up. And you could see, Rory, I don't know if you want to show, there's a little, it takes a little bit of finesse, or a little bit of uh, trial and error, I should say, where you could see, when I bring them down, like I got this, I'm, I got a little bit of wiggle room, but it's kind of restricted, right? And that's not a big deal. You get the stability of the pin pipe pivot, <laughs> but it can be kind of frustrating when you're just like in the middle of set and all of a sudden you're like, you know, just kind of fighting the range of motion a little bit. Okay. So that's why we're going to move on to the next one. So this is a pretty killer setup. Just to, just to review, you have, you got, you pretty much have to have, unless you're just not that strong, right? You pretty much have to have a mounted, power rack of some kind. Um, you don't have to have these pivots. If you want to, if you got the old, you know, dual plate landmines, the ones I was showing earlier, that works fine. You know, just want to make sure that when you start, depending on what kind of exercise you're doing, the plates will slide. So you want to put some rubber underneath it or something in the back to kind of stop that. You know, you can figure that out. And then of course, these beautiful hammock straps, which are featured in all this and gnarly handles or any other kind of you know, there's all sorts of attachments for landmines, uh, whatever you want, right? Um, I tried to make it work with the Viking press. Uh, yeah, that thing on the floor there. I tried to make it work with the Viking press, but I just could not do it without having all the weight just drop on my crotch, right? Which is not for me. Okay, I did a video a long time ago where I, I wanted to mimic the Sornex Hurricane. It's like a five thousand dollar piece of equipment that you can do like everything with and it's just basically like all this stuff that we're doing built in with adjustable just check out sword next hurricane they're sweet um anyways i wanted to i don't want to spend that much money on one right i don't have a place to put it and all these sort of things and i'm just kind of a dork so i want to try to figure out how to do it myself so i did that and i think i did a pretty good job with the hammock straps though I think I can do an even better job. So this is like, I was calling it the Hurricane landmine. We got this uh, Hurricane West Virginia, but it's pronounced Hurricane around here, like Rio Grande, and what else we got? Uh, Taco Bell. Yeah, we got Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> we have two Taco Bells around here, like 19 subways and a lot of car washes. Yeah. 
<laughs> Anyways, um, call it, I was calling it the hurricane, All right, It's like the poor man's version of the Sornex hurricane. And so I'm going to do like the, the version two, and we're just going to make it cooler and better, right? It's starring our good friends, the bare butt hammock straps. So I'm going to be, I'm evolving from where we were with the last, the last version, the, the, the homemade hammer strength press. I got to name all these. All right, I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to keep the pin pivots on here and I'm going to bring this up. The hurricanes right around, uh, right, right around, uh, uh, what are these called? Waists, right around waist height, belt height. And it's kind of like a, in a fixed position. So that's where I'm going to put it with this, uh, with these infinity holes here on the R4, the rogue R4. Slide that in. Dirty. Like I said, with the last one, one of the main downsides is that it only does this. It only moves sagittally. Is that correct? Right? It's sagittally. It only works, it only goes up and down, which is fine for most things. All right, but we want we want to be we want to be different. That's just who we are. So I got this rigged up, and pardon all the spider webs and spider eggs. Your gym could be much nicer. Mine's, mine's not. I, I'm a slob. Um, this is a Titan landmine, uh, which was featured in the, in the version 2 version of what we're doing. Basically, the, I, what I did is put a, uh, my buddy Brad let me use his drill bit, his uh, drill press. Put a, put a little hole through the end there. So that we put this sucker into the pin pipes and take a little tractor pin. Put that sucker on here like so. And now, not only does it go up and down, but it goes back and forth too. It's minorly suggestive, but still family friendly. Okay, so I'm gonna pop this guy in. Same deal, All right? So now we got two of these set up. And of course they slide back and forth if we, if we need them to, which we probably will. So, a million different exercises you could do with this. Uh, let's do, let's try to set up a flat bench. What do you think? All right, so I got this one set up over here the way I want it. We're gonna uh, mess around with like a flat bench uh, configuration. So let me show you how we set that up. Again, I can't stress enough, as Rory just witnessed, uh, how important it is once you get it right to write it down, what you did, it'll save you an immense amount of time, okay? so. I'm going to put this, I got uh, hole eight marked here. I'm going to slide this through first. The nice thing about, well, one of the other nice things about doing this versus, maybe I'll link to the other, the video of the old version I had, is that I was doing this before with, uh, with the Black Widow uh, platforms. These guys, I put them in the hole and I just let the barbell kind of rest on them. That makes sense. The downside is it kind of slides out. Like it, it just gets a little janky. With this, with the hammock straps, you get like a little bit of backward pressure coming in to kind of keep it in the place. So it's just, there's more adjustment options. It's just, it's just, they're just better. So I got this right here. I'm going to put this in place. <laughs> there we go. Bam. Okay. And damn, that's up too high. What did I do? What did I do wrong, Rory? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One. Oh, I know what it is. Hang on, hang on. Let me think about this for a second. Oh, I know what it is. It's this. Okay. You got to do this first. Now I got it in position. Ah, yeah. Okay. 
Cool. Do I, do I need to show what I did there? Maybe. Probably doesn't matter that much, but yeah. All right. Got that there. You see what it was though? Yeah. Right. Goober. Get out of here, dude. Okay. Boom. All right. So again, the nice thing with the hammock straps versus just the straight this just the straight pen pivot is that you can slide them in and out, get them out of your way. Get them you can get them much lower if you want to. I got this flat bench set up. I just bring it over, put it into place, set up, drive. It's just a little bit different trajectory because it's kind of going forward a little bit. You could flip it and set it so you're pushing more backwards, but this is just way easier to set up with at least with this configuration. If you got a suggestion, I'm open to it. So we got that, right? This is like a flat bench kind of deal. Um, if we want to do and I'm on, by the way, I'm using the Vulcan, the Vulcan flat pitch here. This is like the, uh, the old like Donnie Thompson fat pit, fat, fat pad. I don't want to say knockoff, but that's basically what it is. The three by three, I think it's what it's called. Three inches by three inches. Solid, pretty solid little bench here for the price. Anyways, you know, there's all sorts of stuff you could do with this. If I wanted to do like, um, I don't know, again, like deadlifts, rack pulls, rows. <sighs> out like that uh, this is by the way what happens when you want natural lighting in your videos you get a and you got a, a boxer german shepherd puppy running around anyways okay so rob shoecraft three storm fitness um i'd love to hear your feedback on 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 what we've done here uh, i'd love to hear some i know you guys probably have even cooler ideas let me know what they are Make sure you like this video, and uh, I shouldn't say that so mockingly. I really want you to thumbs that up and subscribe to it, please, if you like this stuff, all right? Thank you guys very much. Have a great day. Rory, I almost killed you.